Welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. That is me. And today's video, thank you for joining me, is going to be on the rising gas prices and how it's going to affect your pocketbook and what is taking place out there and how all this all comes together on more money at the store, more money for the goods you need to survive on a daily basis. And it's only going to get worse, folks, because the prices are only going to keep going up. And we're going to talk about what is going in to all this different stuff and how that is affecting the prices and where they may be going. We're going to talk about where we've come from and where we're going. And it's going to be very interesting. So stick around because we're going to get talking on this subject. We're going to break it down step by step next here on Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Stay tuned. So the stimulus money couldn't have hit at a better time for millions and millions of Americans because the energy prices, the oil price, has a significant impact on your food prices. Agricultural food prices respond positively to any stock form oil prices. Results show that 64% of food prices variance is explained by oil price movement. Inflation in oil price is harmful for energy security and threatening the food security. So the higher the price of uh, oil and guess what? The higher price at, you guessed it, the grocery store. So let's get going on what some of this does mean for all of us. As you can see here, we have this nice little list in front of us. In the spring of last year, it was, the prices were at a four year low at $1.83 a gallon in the spring of 2020. Right now, it's 285 in 2021. And they are predicting that over the summer months will be well over as a national average of $3 a gallon. Now there are some states that are already over $3 a gallon, but you know what? You're getting your stimulus check. How far do you think that's really gonna go, folks? So gas prices are coming back from the pandemic, if you really look at it, with a vengeance. When the Charlie Victor 19 first hit last year, Americans, you know, we basically hunkered down. We all stayed home. We didn't do anything, didn't go anywhere. Well, that was about it. And the demand for gasoline plunged and the prices dropped. Last April, the national average for all grades fell well below $2 a gallon, as you can see, $1.83. For the first time in, like I said, over four years. Okay, now prices are rising faster than you can even think about. Up more than 25 cents a gallon nationwide just the last month to an average of 285 gallon for regular gas and it's only going to get worse folks take be the bear of bad news but fuel prices are expected to see a big spike in the next few weeks followed by more increases all the way into summer surprise surprise like i said you know it's all part of their control you know um <clears throat> the big the, the big guy behind all this is opec okay now opec as uh, they just met the other day and they are deciding not to increase their production as they are at a million barrels per day. They're going to keep it at a million barrels per day and they're not going to increase production to help out anybody else. Now their little cartel behind all this is Russia and a few other of these states. And you know, Russia is pretty happy about that decision, as they did note in the news article that I read. So OPEC has the control to do whatever they want, when they want, and we have to do set back and pay higher gas prices, folks. Okay? Another thing that's really hurting us is the harsh winter. Um, out in Texas and everywhere else out there with the refineries, oil rigs, and everything else, it just basically crippled us. You know, we sit back and uh, the, the brutal weather has shut down all the refineries, shut down oil production and everything else. Uh, some of them are still offline, will not be back online until sometime in April, which they believe at that point we might get a little reprieve of the higher prices, but that is yet to be seen. We're trying to look into a crystal ball, folks, and see what's gonna happen, and it is not looking pretty because, for one, OPEC still hasn't decided if they're going to huh, 
increase how much oil they make daily. All right. Another thing that really hurt us was the pandemic itself. You know, that shut down a lot of refineries and everything else, and it took us a while to recover back from that. But thank God then back then, nobody was going anywhere, nobody was driving, so it didn't really matter. You know, there was plenty of uh, gas and oil to go around. This all affects your home heating, fuel oil, your diesel, gas, the whole nine yards. So you're gonna be paying more all the way around. It's gonna cost you more, yeah, but you got your stimulus money. But the, how far is that actually really going to go? Are you going to be able to make it through the storm? You know, um, they're even saying that some of the, uh, with the whole vaccination thing that's going on, you know, people are having to drive. They go to get their vaccination. They wait in these long lines. Cars are running. They're burning fuel. It's a waste. Hurts the ozone. Hurts the, emiss the emissions and everything else. So, you know, everything has a thing to fall back on. The stimulus checks are even, you know, they're predicting will drive up the prices because they're giving you money and you're going to go on to go on vacation. You're going to want to drive somewhere. You want to do something. Planes, trains, automobiles, whatever it may be. You want to make sure that if you can, you're going to get out. You're going to get go somewhere because you are going stir crazy setting in the house, especially if you have kids. You want to go somewhere where you can have some peace and quiet or maybe just some quiet you know the summer well that's gonna bring higher gas prices too because you know we all want to go somewhere so summertime weather's coming back you know we don't have to deal with the ice storm snow and everything else well at least down here in Florida we don't have to worry about that too much but everybody that lives north of the Mason Dixon line well you just want to get away you want to go somewhere right so summertime is a great time to go you know, we could find ourselves basically closing in on $3 plus a gallon as a nationwide average by Memorial Day. And that's according to both AAA and Gas Buddy. They're all friends and they're all happy and everything else because we get to pay more of our hard earned money just so we can get in our vehicle and drive and go somewhere. Now, one last thing that I'd like to throw in here. Back in 1950, a geologist named King Hubbard looked at oil production data from all the major oil producing countries in the world at that particular time. And he made a prediction back then in the 1950s, the world would run out of oil in 2030 and all other fossil fuels in 2050. So folks, what are we going to do? What are you going to do with your stimulus money you might want to put a little bit aside so you have money for gas you might want to make sure that you have a backup plan maybe you need to make sure that you have something if you live in a hurricane area maybe you can't afford gas for your generator maybe a battery backup might be even better you might want to make sure that you do have plans make sure that you are really thinking about how you're going to spend the stimulus money because if you need it to get back and forth to work to put in your car well you're going to need it this has been Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Everybody stay safe, keep prepping, and I'll catch you all on the flip side.